Happy Super Bowl Sunday, everyone. It's Sports Snippets. Dennis Sullivan here to discuss a little Super Bowl history, some things. I've, I've been digging up some statistics here and a couple of just facts and figures regarding the Super Bowl itself, its history, and some interesting tidbits I just want to share with you as the game itself, Super Bowl 55 this year, getting ready to kick off in just a few short hours from the time that I put this video together. So if you do like the content of this particular video, go right ahead, hit that like button. You can also subscribe to my channel, Sports Snippets with Dennis Sullivan. That would be very, very awesome, guys. So let's get into it now. Of course, in Super Bowl 55, we have the Kansas City Chiefs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And if we look at historical or Super Bowl history with these two teams, this will be the Kansas City Chiefs' fourth appearance in the Super Bowl, uh, while we have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers appearing in their second Super Bowl in team history. The Chiefs actually were a powerhouse team when the Super Bowl era began in January of 1967, as they did appear in Super Bowls 1 and 4. Now, they had... A lot of these things, these little things I'm going to go over, are more from, you know, years, decades back. So, if you're a, shall we say, uh, older adult, you will probably appreciate this maybe a little bit more. But who knows? For you younger fans out there, you might get a kick out of this too. Because the Chiefs, Coach Hank Stram, they were a big, big team back in the 60s and 70s. And they had some success Winning one, so they, they won Super Bowl IV. They defeated Minnesota Vikings 23-7. But as many of you may recall, the Chiefs were the losers of the very first Super Bowl. Uh, they got destroyed by the Green Bay Packers 35-10 at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum on January 15th, 1967. So that was the very first Super Bowl game played. An interesting little tidbit about that, as you may have heard, guys, back then you had the NFL and what was then called the AFL. Eventually, after the first few Super Bowls, it was the NFL as a whole divided between the NFC and the AFC, National Football Conference, American Football Conference, which is where it stands today. But back in the very beginning of the Super Bowl, it was the NFL and the AFL. So the first Super Bowl, now this I just found out maybe a year ago, when the Packers had the ball in the first Super Bowl, they used an NFL football. When the Kansas City Chiefs had the ball in Super Bowl I, they used an AFL football <laughs> they were different styles so when each team had the ball they used their league's football shall we say isn't that pretty cool so the Packers actually won the first two Super Bowls uh, Green Bay also beating Oakland Raiders in Super Bowl 2 33-14 and then it was in Super Bowl 3 with the Jets stunning upset New York Jets 16 Baltimore Colts back then, guys, not the Ravens, Baltimore Colts, 7, so 16-7, and that kind of changed everything. That was kind of, well, no one could believe an AFL team would beat an NFL team like that, and that kind of really changed the history in a sense, uh, and probably would speed up the whole process of the entire league falling under what is now called NFL or NFL football. So leave me some comments below if you want to add anything about that. And then, of course, the Chiefs winning uh, Super Bowl IV, as I mentioned, over the Minnesota Vikings. Then what happened, guys, with the Chiefs is they took a 50, that's 5-0. They took a 50-year Super Bowl, shall we say, hiatus and did not appear in another Super Bowl at all, win or lose, until last year, February of 2020, in Super Bowl 54, 
which they would defeat the San Francisco 49ers 31-20. to And now, in Super Bowl 55, the Chiefs are appearing in their fourth Super Bowl. As for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, much easier to explain this one, guys. The Buccaneers only appeared in one Super Bowl prior to this season, and that was Super Bowl 37, uh, and that was a victory. Tampa Bay Buccaneers in San Diego, California, Qualcomm Stadium, January 26, 2003, would defeat the Oakland Raiders 48-21. to As you may recall, the Buccaneers had an awesome defense back then. It's about 18, yeah. 18 years ago. Awesome defense. Warren Sapp, plenty of others. Uh, Brad Johnson was a the quarterback. They, were, they weren't a high-scoring uh, team, although they scored 48 points in that Super Bowl. Known for their defense, and the Buccaneers never appeared in a Super Bowl before that or since then. So that is a little historical perspective, guys. And usually right around this time... Uh, each year, I'll go through some old videos, actually right on YouTube. I'll, I'll view some of the older Super Bowls, and I just want to pretty much close out or do the second half of this video on that, uh, on some of my research, that, re fun research. I don't even know if you want to call it research, but research that I did uh, in watching some old videos, just kind of um, getting nostalgic, I guess you could say. And I did the same thing last year. I've done it now for a couple of years, maybe over the last five years or so. And I just kind of remind myself, like, wow, the, you know, the game has changed so much. And when the Super Bowl era started and then it would get into the 70s, you had the Miami Dolphins appearing, let's not forget, in three straight Super Bowls. They would lose Super Bowl six, win Super Bowl seven and eight. And then... Coming right in after them would be the Pittsburgh Steelers and that giant Pittsburgh Steer Steeler era they had there, the, the dynasty of the Steelers, which pretty much ran from 75, really throughout the whole 70s though, but they won their first Super Bowl in January of 1975, 16-6 to over the Minnesota Vikings. That was Super Bowl nine. Then they would beat the Cowboys in Super Bowls ten. And 13, and then they would defeat the Los Angeles Rams in Super Bowl 14, 31 19. Steelers also won later on. They would appear and win another Super Bowl also. Um, of course, with Ben Roethlisberger, they would win. They won a couple. They beat Seattle, you may recall. Uh, that was back 15 years ago. Super Bowl 35, was it? I'm going to say, yeah. No, Super Bowl, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Super Bowl 40, uh, 15 years ago, they would beat Seattle, and they would also win Super Bowl 43 against Arizona Cardinals, 27-23. I'm telling you, Steelers are all over the place here. And then they would lose uh, a couple of years later, uh, 10 years ago, Super Bowl 45 to Green Bay Packers. So you got, I mean, obviously the Steelers have a rich history. The 49ers have a rich history, guys. Um, they lost last year's Super Bowl, as you may recall. But the 49ers have a rich history with Joe Montana, of course, in the 80s, uh, early 90s. Steve Young would come in and win a Super Bowl in January of 1995. And then, of course, they lost two of the last eight Super Bowls, losing to the Baltimore Ravens about eight, nine years ago, and then losing last year's, as I mentioned. Two teams I just want to mention real quick, guys, that, for whatever reason, never broke through and have yet to win a Super Bowl. The Minnesota Vikings. Okay, the Vikings lost four Super Bowls in the 1970s have yet to return to the Super Bowl, guys. They lost their last one against Pittsburgh in 19... No, last one was against the Oakland Raiders. That was in, in Pasadena, California, January 1977. They have yet to appear in a Super Bowl since then. Since then. How crazy is that? Vikings have had good teams over the years, of course. And the Buffalo Bills, how can we forget? They have a really good team now, but they lost four straight Super Bowls in the 1990s early to mid-90s. So guys, 
getting there is this, just this huge thing. I mean, it's not to be taken lightly. We see Tom Brady appearing in his record-setting 10th, 10th Super Bowl in his career, record-setting as a starting quarterback. Unbelievable record, that is. And he has a chance to win his 7th Super Bowl with a victory today. Won't be easy against Kansas City Chiefs. So, guys, and one other thing I, d I discovered, or, or for whatever reason, the Super Bowl was always played at the end of January until that Tampa Bay Buccaneer victory over the Oakland Raiders about 18 years ago. It was 18 years ago. Uh, since then, the last 18 years, the Super Bowl is now played in early February. Not sure what got that started or what became of that or why, but that's where we're at now, guys. Since 2003, uh, we, as a matter of fact, that Tampa Bay only Super Bowl win was the last Super Bowl to be played in January. All others are now have started in early February. So for now, leave me some comments, guys. Some interesting tidbits and things that have happened. Oh, and by the way, America's team, the Dallas Cowboys, have not appeared in a Super Bowl in 25 years, guys. Their last Super Bowl appearance was a 27-17 victory over the Pittsburgh Steelers on January 18th, 1996. Leave me some comments on that. So it is just a special event to get your team there. Certainly doesn't make matters easier when you got guys like Tom Brady going every other year, although Brady didn't prevent the Cowboys from going because he was AFC all those years and the Cowboys were NFC, but I'm just throwing that out there just to share some perspective with you. So let me know what you think, guys. Also, one last thought. Can we just bring the Super Bowl back to the Rose Bowl? We haven't had a Rose Bowl Super Bowl in decades. They're really, I don't see why not. They still play the Rose Bowl game there uh, at the Rose Bowl, Pasadena, California, to my knowledge, right? It's still in operation. It's, it's a great stadium. It's one of the, it is the, Pro, arguably the most historical football stadium in the country, and we haven't seen the Rose Bowl since, I'm going to say, 1993, when Dallas beat Buffalo in Super Bowl 27, guys. That's been the, we have not seen the Rose Bowl. So leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. Got to bring the Rose Bowl back. The two locations that seem to have lasted over the years are Miami with the Orange Bowl back in the old days and then Joe Robbie now renovated into Hard Rock Stadium. Had different names over the years. Uh, and New Orleans. New Orleans Super Bowl has stood the test of time over the years. Tampa has been a location for the Super Bowl since the 80s, guys. So it's also hasn't been around quite as long as far as hosting the Super Bowl but did make its debut back in 1984 when the Raiders defeated the Washington Redskins in Super Bowls 18, I believe that was. So this is, we could talk about this stuff all day. Dennis Sullivan here, Sports Snippets. I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy the game. Leave me some comments. Thanks. Bye-bye.